back to you on day four, part four of this project of fixing the little holes on the old wooden boat. Today we're working on filling the gap in there, putting some more structural members back in to get our support back for where that chine rotted out. First thing I did is make myself a cardboard cutout of what the board should look like. And I use that template to cut my board right out of here. And that first board right here, we can see I had to angle cut it there. I had to get an angle into this side here so it'll sit well. I had to plane it down and I had to angle that little guy there too. So boom, he's sitting right in the corner, right where he belongs. But then I wanted to add another structural member on the outside of that to give it a little more stability. So I use this same template, added three fingers to it because that was the width difference, slid it back. And boom, I got my second board cut. Now this one's a little bit easier. All I had to do was give it the bevel on this side so it'll fit in nice. You can see her right there up next to the other board. So tomorrow will be glue and screw day. A lot of 5200 getting in there. And then we'll let this baby sit for about a week before it's ready to go in. The crazy part about doing these two little boards is how many different tools I had to use. I use a wood planer. My Performax palm sander there, my Ryobi belt sander, my Black Indector jigsaw, my Performax small circular, and last but not least, the shop vac to clean it all up. So I actually had to use six different tools, power tools, and a lot of, a lot of, I guess, working around and playing the game with these tools, not necessarily how they're made to be used, to get these boards cut, cut right, fit in, and ready to go. All right, I got the first board in. Just gooped all the way around with the 5200 there to seal it up really nice. And you can see there's one little gap right there. So I've got my Evercoat mixed and ready to go and I'm gonna fill that. And then I'll be ready. Now you can see on the outside, I've already got some screws in. I'm gonna get something on back. I've got three underneath. And I drilled that first hole from on top so I know right where to start. Now we've got that part filled in. It's ready to move on to the next step. Get this other board in. As you can see, I've got one, two, three holes drilled. One, two, three up there. Ready to go. So I don't have to try locating any of this. Boom, I got them both in. I've got them screwed in from the bottom, coming from the side of the boat, coming way back from the back of the boat there, and I got a couple right here. And this little angle one, I've actually got a screw angling through the front to the back board. Well, with all the boards in and replaced, especially with that structural stuff done, it'll take a couple of days to dry because that 5200 takes a while. Time to start knocking some plugs off, finishing this up and refinishing it, and getting it ready to go in. Turbine Guy, signing off.